Holy shit. They tested the NASA warp drive and guess what folks? It worked. Now NASA says they're planning on next year developing and colonizing space. They're planning on developing um, for us to live in space for the space elevator to having hotels to having um, vehicles to having corporations in space. Holy shit. This means we can become a type 1 civilization faster than I thought. Wow. Yeah, they tested it and it, it worked. And um, I figured it would work because, you know, you know, once they, you know, once you do the math, you know, the probability of it working is going to be very, very high. Um, and the brilliant scientists, they know how energy works and gas and, and stuff. That's amazing. Next year, they, they're planning on having vehicles in space, corporations, hotels, sending people to space with a space elevator. Wow. Like I said, you know, this is a start, you know. All we have to get the NASA warp drive working. And now the sky's the limit. So, week? I'm saying five years? Who knows? Maybe less than five years, we, we could be living in space. And hell, that's a good thing. It's a really good thing, you know why? Because we won't have to worry about wars with other countries. We won't have to worry about fuel and get plants. And we'll have other means of survival, you know? Heck, we can turn matter into light, light into matter. We can do this now. Wow. I guess it's going to finally come true, man. Five years, is, we're probably going to have it already colonized up in space. So what does the NASA warp drive mean? Well, we know we can we can always go to Mars, right? But with this, we can go to other planets. Not only other planets, we can go to exoplanets. Planets that are way out of our solar system. Because time is warping. And it's producing faster than the speed of light. So, so exoplanets will take 70,000 years. We can be there maybe a year or... Even, it depends. I mean, the farther the planet of the way, exoplanets um, are, are really, really far. Probably like one year to five years, three years. And then the other planets are even closer. Months or weeks. That's how fast. I mean, this, this is faster than a rocket ship. It, it's because you're warping, time warping speed. So, I mean, we can, we can just colonize. I mean, we can just go to Mars or Venus or Jupiter. Boom, no problem. And then, you know, not only that, we can send drones and robots to other planets, and especially the deadly planets we can't go into, such as Jupiter, you know, um, or Venus, you know, which is all lava, you know, Jupiter is like all deadly gas. It's amazing. We can just, you know, um, like I said, man, five years, even less than five years. Hell, we'll be in, we'll be in, uh, we can go to Exo. We can go to the Kepler planet, you know, and let probably less than five years. Um, amazing. I, I would love to go to the Kepler planet because it resembles Earth. I mean, the mass is a little more, but it, it looks exactly like Earth. And that's like one of the billions of other exoplanets. Yep, folks, we're definitely getting to the future. This is, this is, this is huge. This is amazing. Like I said, we're living in the most groundbreaking time of ever. Um, wow. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't, I can, I can't wait to see what we find out, man. It's gonna be amazing. For all these other planets, we're gonna find out, man. We're probably just gonna, you know, not only that, we'll.